Right, well, welcome to the rearranged Trinity Open Day. Um, this is the general talk on science at Trinity. I am Professor Graham Watson. I am the science course director. So it's my job to help coordinate uh, the entire science program uh, in Trinity. And what I'll do uh, in the next 20 or so minutes is give you uh, a rundown about the structure of the science course, uh, what it's good for, the sorts of subjects that we cover, and essentially give you some, some information about the broad area of science. Now, as you know, or as you probably know, there are lots of stands out there which are manned by the particular disciplines, the particular subjects, and they can give you much more detailed information about the particular subjects uh, that you might be interested in. So, uh, I'm the science course director. I run what's called the science course office, and essentially it's primarily responsible for the TR071 entry into Trinity, which is the common science entry. Uh, essentially, my job is to coordinate this program uh, from the di various disciplines and the sub or subjects, uh, and essentially, you can, as I said, you can get more information, direct information about those subjects from the particular desks. Uh, that are located uh, outside. Now what the science course does is actually handle the students, if you like. We do the registrations, we sort out the module choices, provide you with information, etc. And we also are responsible for trying to coordinate the, the, the update of the course and the, the feedback from, from staff and students. And essentially the staff at the science course office is uh, the interaction point for the students. It's actually just down the, um, the atrium, is the office, and the students, particularly in the first two years, will directly interact with the science course office in terms of uh, the uh, science course. Now, there is a web page, and this has quite a lot of information, both about the course and uh, various uh, aspects like uh, um, career prospects, so www.tcd.ie slash science and you'll find lots of information here which uh, will be useful. If you haven't had a look at that before, I do recommend that you do uh, have a look. So one of the questions, you're all here to see the science talk, so I assume you're interested in studying science. I've just written a few things down here on why you might want to study science. Science is, uh, provides an analytical, logical and critical approach to thinking. And that's obviously very important in the modern world and it develops these aspects uh, uh, for uh, the students. The career opportunities that are available from a science degree are very numerous and particularly for the Trinity science degree where in the first few years there's lots of choice and I'll go through some of that choice in a while. Then the, the numbers of opportunities there are, is, is extremely varied. Um, there's aspects of the courses which train people individually and to work as, as in, in, the, in teams. And uh, obviously the, the changing environment of the world, uh, scientific knowledge is obviously becoming more increasingly important in understanding things like global warming and, and aspects like that. As I said, the science webpage has lots of information there's this frequently asked questions section which uh, addresses many of these issues. <coughs> the other question is why would, you, if you want to study science, why would you do it at Trinity? Well, Trinity is what's referred to as a research-led university. Its teaching is research-led and by that I mean that all of the lecturers or the majority of the lecturers will actually be involved in research in their own particular discipline. Cutting-edge research, uh, on the global scale and hence the teaching is led by developments in the particular fields. Uh, we also have excellent facilities, lab facilities, you'll see a few of them as you go down uh, to talk to the desks, but there are excellent lab facilities so that we train people not only in understanding science but in the application of science. In terms of the final degree, the university itself is very highly regarded, both nationally and internationally, and so the degree is a passport not just to jobs in Ireland, but around the world. Again, coming back to this issue of applying knowledge, most of the, project, most of the um, 
degree programmes will include research projects as an integral part in the, in the latter years, close supervision with the, with the um, researchers, and hence it's the application of knowledge, it's the development of that ability. There's also various field and laboratory works within the particular disciplines. <coughs> and I guess in terms of Trinity, Trinity also offers a very good environment for this. We have dedicated administrative support for the students through the science course office. The course is continually updated and we have a very, uh, uh, very good tutorial system which allows students to be, get to advice uh, all the way through the degree programmes. The other thing about the science course which I'll go on to now is that there is a wide range of choices. If you're not quite sure which aspect of science you're very interested in, it doesn't matter too much in Trinity. In the first few years we do a range of subjects and that you can specialise later. But it's not just the TR071, this is the, the main route into science in Trinity, but there are other degree programmes uh, around the themes of science, mathematics, theoretical physics, and then these five degree programmes, which are direct entry, TR073 to 77. These programmes are very much based on the science degree, except they are specifically themed, so human genetics, chemistry and molecular modelling, medicinal chemistry, nanoscience, which is the physics and chemistry of advanced materials, and earth sciences. These programmes essentially use components of the science degree in the first few years, um, and hence they are uh, integrated quite uh, closely with the science programme. If you want more information on these direct entry courses, go and see the desks. So if you want human genetics, go and see the genetics uh, desk. Medicinal chemistry and chemistry and medical modelling, the chemistry desk. Uh, Earth science is, is, is joint between geography and geology. So they will be able to give you much more detailed information about those particular programmes. I mentioned on the website there's some, issue, uh, some information about career opportunities. This is just a list that we've generated. People from the science course have gone into all of these areas and it's a huge wide range, which is not that surprising since the degree programmes that you go, the, the specialisations at the end are very wide ranging themselves. I'm not going to go through all of these, but these are essentially the degree programmes that you end up in. So in the first few years you do general science and then at the end of the second year you choose a specialisation and these are the specialisations that are currently available. They're, they're, they're often updated uh, on a year-by-year -year basis, but you can see we've got wide-ranging areas from biochemistry, chemistry, environmental sciences, functional biology, genetics, geography, geology, immunology, microbiology, molecular medicine, neuroscience, physics, physics and astrophysics, physiology, plant sciences and zoology. So it's a very wide-ranging uh, uh, course and you don't have to make this decision until you get to the end of the second year. Once you get there, these, the, you will spend the, the, the third and fourth year actually focusing on this particular discipline and specialising in that discipline uh, and uh, really uh, getting to grips with it. Now, having said that, what you choose in the first two years does have some impact. And I'm going to try to explain a little bit about that impact now. In the first year, each year is, is composed of 60 credits, and in the first year we have all of these modules which are 10 credits each. And you choose 60 credits worth. Now how you choose them, actually uh, the, the way the term is structured matters, and you may not know how uh, Trinity operates at the moment because in the last couple of years it's actually changed. So I just want to explain to you how the teaching year actually progresses uh, 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 now. So right at the beginning of uh, the academic year in September, we have Freshers' Week, induction courses. It's where you can sign up for all of the extracurricular activities uh, and things. That, and there's a huge range of those uh, at Trinity. We then have a 12-week semester, which is split into two. We have six weeks of teaching 
and then we have a one week, what's referred to as study week. This is where students can uh, review the, the material and uh, catch up with any assignments. And in this week, there's no actual lectures or laboratory exercises. We then have another five weeks of teaching before we get to the uh, Christmas period. And then back in January, we do the same thing again. So we have another 12-week semester. So the academic year in terms of the teaching is split evenly across uh, Christmas. So you'll do half of your modules uh, before Christmas and the other half after Christmas. Once that happens, there's a, a short three-week revision period followed by the dreaded exams. And uh, the results come up out very shortly after that. So that's the academic year. So in terms of science, you have to do 30 credits before Christmas and 30 credits after Christmas. Now, the subjects are taught at particular times, so this just shows you the pattern in general of the subjects and when they are taught either semester one or semester two. And to try to facilitate understanding the choices, we've actually come up with a number of patterns. So the first pattern is if you want to study maths and physics across both semesters. So you only have to choose one other subject in the first semester, one in the second semester. This pattern is particularly good for physics because physics requires you to have physics and maths uh, to proceed in, 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 in uh, the discipline of physics. It doesn't leave you too much other choice. Uh, you can do chemistry if you do both of the chemistry options. You can't really do too much uh, in terms of the biologies because you actually need chemistry and biology in first year to do most of the biology subjects. The second pattern is just maths. So we've actually taken physics out of the equation there. You get a lot of choice here, which can go on to most of the degree programs, in fact, but of the choice you make uh, matters. So obviously, if you want to do chemistry in the end, you have to take chemistry. That's reasonably obvious. There's a complicated set of prerequisites. I'm not going to try and explain them in detail uh, here. But obviously, you can't do physics with that one. The, th the third pattern has mathematics only in one semester. And again, you get choice here. The choice actually uh, does matter. The fourth pattern has no mathematics at all. Some people think this is great, no mathematics. In fact, there's not many degree programs where you can actually get into with no maths at all. OK, so there's only a few uh, degree programs that don't have a prerequisite of some mathematics. Now, having said that, um, what I'm trying to get across is that choice is a central feature of the Trinity Sciences degree program. Okay? And what that means is that what I've just described looks very daunting in terms of what the choices are and the implications of them. But the thing that we are very good at here at Trinity is making sure people are well informed of what their choices are and the implications of them. So, for instance, if you come to do science at Trinity, there's an initial orientation, which is before the lectures start. You'll get a series of talks from the various disciplines to explain what is involved in the disciplines, chemistry, physics, uh, biology, geography, geology, etc. And then we will actually we get together a, a collection of experienced academics who will discuss the selection with you on a one-to-one -one basis. So we actually meet all of the students one-to-one -to, -one to discuss the options that they take uh, in terms of uh, the modules in the, in the first year. And in fact, we still allow people to change in the first few weeks if they suddenly decide that the, the, the module they've taken isn't really what they should have done then we allow them to switch modules in the first few weeks. And indeed, the second semester modules can be changed all the way up to the end of the first semester. So there's lots of choice, there's lots of advice, and there's flexibility in the system. Now, just to give you an idea of the leave insert points, I've just got the last couple of years here, 2009, 2010. So for the common entry, it went up a little bit last year, but we're talking about 450-ish. Okay, the, the direct entry courses 
Uh, these have a lot less students in them, so what you tend to find is that the points vary a lot more than, uh, than the main science programme. Uh, some of them have gone up and some have gone slightly down. If you want to get into science, as well as making the matriculation requirements, you need mathematics grade C in the ordinary or grade D on the higher. And in addition to that, you need two science subjects at higher grade C. So in other words, if you get higher grade C in maths, you actually only need one other science subject. Okay, this is a bit redundant now since we're um, a little way through the, the day. This is the talk that I'm giving at the moment. If, you've, um, if there are other subjects still to be uh, talked about, so uh, chemistry or geology or genetics, then please go to those talks, get as much information as you can, go out to the stands, talk to as many people, and really get an understanding of what the, the different subjects are, what the choices are, uh, before you make your decision. Okay, that's me done. So, what I would ask is, it's very crowded in here. Can we try, we're trying to operate a one-way system, so when you leave the lecture theatre, can you please come down the front and leave through the exit here? Okay. <laughs>